Hello and welcome aboard the Sweetwater Premium Edition 220 SL. This boat is set up in three different entertaining sections, lots of great performance upgrades as well. Let's take a look. We're up in the bow of the 220 SL and you can see how much incredible room we've got up here. Very wide, eight foot six inch beam. Uh, even though this boat is labeled as a 220, the overall length is actually 23 feet eight inches. So you're really getting a lot of boat for your money here. You can see some very, very nice upgrades as well. Two forward lounges, a beautiful port side lounge, contrasting colors. You can see bringing that blue in uh, with that uh, vanilla color. Very, very sharp. Double stitch seams, Sweetwater logo, uh, plenty of storage. Sweetwaters are really known for the quality and the storage, and you're going to find a ton of each right here. Uh, beautiful uh, tubs up, for, up front here, uh, plenty of room for your life jackets, uh, towels, anything else you're going to bring along. Uh, of course, water sports gear as well. Uh, also on the starboard lounge, you can see also a matching forward facing uh, seat, nice angled backrest. These removable cup holders are very nice. Uh, of course, they double as uh, armrests as well. Again, tons of storage in this boat. Uh, you get everything you're gonna need. Now this boat actually holds 16 people. It's rated for up to 16 passengers. So you're gonna bring a lot of gear and Sweetwater really maximizes the storage space on this. You can see that we're up here in the uh, forward deck here and I wanted to point out, we've got this transition, uh, kind of a combination decking surface. Got this uh, beautiful carpet up front this, uh, that's specially designed for Sweetwater. But you can see that we transitioned from that into this mahogany and ivory uh, synthetic teak. Very easy to take care of and just looks great. That carries all the way through uh, to the forward deck. You can see it goes out here. We've got forward docking lights. Very easy to bring the uh, boat home after you've been out in the water all day. And take a look at this uh, forward gate. It's very easy. Just lift and drop. You know that gate's going to be secure when you're underway. This particular Sweetwater is configured with what we call the total package. It's got that uh, G3 third tube running right down the middle of the uh, pontoons down there. Um, also with that total package, you get the uh, launching pad, which really, really helps the performance of this boat. Uh, of course, you can get a bigger horsepower uh, when you have that third pontoon and the launching pad. Uh, it handles much better, terrific performance. Also, that total package, you get the underskin under the uh, uh, under the deck here. What that's going to do is uh, give you nicer performance, uh, also really quiet that ride down somewhat as well. Uh, it's just a great, great addition to this to this boat, and it's an optional package you can get. Another feature you're really going to find yourself using a lot on this boat, especially with a capacity of 16 passengers, is this pop-up changing room. When the uh, kids, especially when they come up out of the water from tubing or swimming, um, it's always nice to be able to let them get out of those wet swimsuits. And this provides just enough privacy for that. You can see it just zips down the side here. Uh, plenty of room in there to get out of those wet clothes, change into dry ones. And they're going to really feel better about staying out on the lake all day. Taking a look at the uh, helm station here, you'll notice uh, one of those uh, behind the scenes quality things that you'll really appreciate. This is a full fiberglass helm. Um, this is just like a fiberglass boat. Uh, it, some other uh, brands are going to have a kind of a cheaper molded um, helm here. Uh, they're just not going to hold up as well year after year uh, in the sunlight and the uh, marine conditions. Uh, really stable, secure, very, very nice. Uh, a couple of cup holders up here on the forward part for all those passengers uh, that are sitting in front of the helm there. Beautiful wood grain finish uh, behind the gauges. Nice, large, easy to see, high contrast gauges, digital depth finder. A cup holder for the uh, captain, of course. Um, here's a neat feature, Sony Marine Radio. Uh, get that out of the elements, but it's also got a, uh, an auxiliary plug so you can plug your iPhone or your iPod MP3 player in and listen to your own music during the day while you're out on the water. It's got this nice soft touch steering wheel, easy to adjust, very easy to get comfortable in that nice overstuffed captain's chair. All your switches right at your fingertips, very easy to get to. A 12 volt receptacle, something you're not going to see on a, a, a lot of competitors. That's going to allow you to charge your cell phone, that's going to allow you to charge your smartphone during the day, especially when you're playing that MP3 player. Uh, just going to extend the uh, musical day out on the water. 
Great positioning, by the way, on this uh, Yamaha throttle with that seat that slides up and back and also reclines. Uh, very easy to uh, operate this boat. If you've ever spent much time out on the water, you'll know that one of the constant aggravations is constantly tripping over the cooler. Uh, of course, you know, if you've got a lot of passengers here, we're entertaining, you're going to need a nice chest, you're going to have it filled with beverages and food and that sort of thing. Uh, what we've done here is maximize the storage space by adding a dedicated cooler storage. This cooler actually comes with the boat. Um, nice gasket here to uh, prevent the door from rattling. And of course, when you tuck it away, you know it's nice and secure. Also very easy access. It's very centrally located. Also wanted to point out, this helm is elevated about three inches. That gets the captain's chair up off the deck. Nice non-skid surface there as well. What that's gonna do is provide even better visibility, especially if you've got folks sitting in the forward lounge directly in front of the captain's chair. Just get them a little bit higher, make it easy to see, very easy to operate the boat. We talked uh, before about having separate seating areas, uh, distinct areas in this boat. Uh, here's the second one. Of course, we have the forward seating. Here's a nice bench seat, as you can see, with a great pedestal table here, a nice wood grain, molded cup holders, just great for entertaining. Uh, and uh, that's, of course, kind of the cockpit seating. Uh, the captain can swing around, have a conversation with these folks. Tons more storage under here, uh, like we showed you under the other seats. Um, also want to point out that this boat is configured with a side entry gate. Um, again, it's that lift and drop, very, very easy to operate gate system. And what that's going to do for you, that's going to provide a very easy entrance and exit to this boat from the dock. Uh, if you've got folks on here, again, up to 16 people, uh, you might have some folks that don't get out on a boat very often. This is really going to give them that sense of comfort and security, stepping directly on and off, uh, very easy. A feature and I think you will find that very very useful. Moving back here uh, just past the uh, midship seating area uh, I wanted to point out this uh, bimini top you see this square aluminum frame it's very sturdy and secure uh, when you have this bimini up even when you're underway even on a windy, windy day uh, it's going to be very secure. These Dalco clips latch right into place, you know they're secure, you hear a nice firm click, and you know that uh, that bimini top is not going anywhere even when you're under speed. When you're not using the top, um, we've got this boot, that protective boot that covers it, that's going to keep the sunlight off of it, that's going to give you years and years and years of extra life to this uh, bimini. Uh, i got vent filters here, uh, really keep it nice and dry and out of the sun nice touch with the uh, Sweet Lo Sweetwater logo as well. Back here in the uh, aft seating area, again this is the third distinct seating area in this boat, uh, really breaks things up. It's a very, very nice layout. We've got another uh, two uh, side lounges, that's why this uh, boat is designated as an SL. Uh, rear facing seat pads there, uh, backrest, nice angle, again that beautiful upholstery with those details. Uh, the uh, double stitching, the piping, everything just looks great. Uh, a couple more speakers back here as well. Uh, again, we're talking about the storage on this boat. You got a lot of people, you're going to need a lot of storage. Um, again, every seat, just flip open, see that deep, deep uh, molded uh, plastic is going to really provide lots of room for your gear when you're out on the water for a whole day. Also storage underneath the uh, headrest there as well. Now you'll notice that in the aft part of the uh, boat, we've also got it, the same transition that we had in the, uh, in the bow. We go from that beautiful carpet right into the mahogany and ivory synthetic teak. This is really a great feature. It's so beautiful. Out in the sun, out in the water, just great. Very easy on your feet, um, easy to clean. It's just a perfect touch to this boat. Really sets it apart from the competition. Moving back, you can see we've got the rear boarding gate here. Easy access, nice wide door, uh, especially if you're uh, getting uh, tubes in and out of this boat uh, with the beautiful stainless steel uh, tow bar there. Uh, gonna get that rope high and dry up off the outboard. Plenty of room through this wide gate to get those tubes out, get everybody on the water having fun. This boat is rigged with a uh, Yamaha 115 horsepower um, four stroke motor. Uh, this boat's actually uh, rated up to 150 horsepower. It, Again, those really nice touches, stainless steel cleats, um, uh, aluminum boarding ladder, with those nice big hand holes to pull you up out of the water. 
Uh, really a great, great boat uh, for having a great, fun day on the water. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at the incredible Sweetwater Premium Edition 220 SL. Side lounges in the back, lots of performance upgrade options. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.